Hey guys, welcome back for our second spring game of the day. Right now we've got the Northern Colorado Bears spring game. And we do have a halfback battle here between Eric Tavares and Darius Mitchell. Now Mitchell is wearing number 37. Um, I did forget to switch his number for week one. But week two, he will be number 34. But we have an athletic running back taking on a raw talent running back. Tavares is the athletic and Mitchell is the raw halfback. It's really the only battle in this ball game. We got Darrell Stats at quarterback for both squads. As we see a nice completion over the middle there from Stats. But it wasn't enough for the first down. And here's Mitchell breaking loose getting the first down. First and 10 toss play to Mitchell and he finds the edge past midfield and taken down by a face mask on the defense. Now the Bears defense is really weak compared to all the other teams. There's only two players on their defense. Bully Cooper at strong safety and Deacon Cooper at free safety as we see a nice run up there up the middle. First and 10 play action from Stats. Going left side deflected or was it dropped? It might have been dropped by number 35, Gavin Brady, big fullback. Play action again to the end zone, wide open. It's number 82, a non-subscriber player. Nice 14-yard touchdown from Stats, and that one was a rainbow. Not a defender in sight. Deacon Cooper was late getting over there. Yellow squad back on the field, nice run. For Tavares running over a linebacker. What do you guys think of these uniforms? I like the yellow. I think it looks pretty sweet. And there's a nice diving catch at the 31 yard line by another non subscriber player. Stats dropping back, looking to throw it over to the left, and that is caught for the first down by Eric Tavares. Second and 10, play action. Stats finding an open man once again. Nice eight yard pickup. And that was Gavin Brady, the fullback, the raw talent build. Nice run here from Stats, getting past midfield, getting a first down for his team. We're gonna go option, late pitch, still gets it out to him, and Tavares gets loose past the 30, past the 20, and down to the 16 yard line. That was a great run after the pitch. It looked like that play was going nowhere. And that was Deacon Cooper who took out the halfback. And then Bully Cooper finally chases him down at the end of the run. Second and 11, Stats. The sideline caught for about a five-yard pickup for number 83, Howard Bresnigale, a smart wide receiver. Stats to the end zone. And that is hauled in. I'm not sure who it was that caught it. But another rainbow pass here from Stats. And that was Howard Bresnigale for the touchdown reception. The 5'10", 165 pound smart wide receiver. Blue squad looking to answer back. Quick pass over the middle. Great throw in traffic. Nice catch by Howard Bresnigale. Play action again here. Stats over the middle. Another great catch down to the 31 yard line. And that was number 82, the non-subscriber receiver. Stats taken off here up the middle, running through a defender, picks up eight yards. It's gonna be fun playing with this offense. A lot of speed, and there's a nice first down carry. Stats all day to throw it. Goes towards the end zone, caught inside the five, down to the two yard line. That is number 41, Smokey Callahan. And that is the raw tight end. He's 6'6", 280 pounds, and we see a touchdown rush right here from Darius Mitchell. Nice little jump cut there to get to the outside. Look at this pancake block. Boom! That is disrespectful from Mike Heath, the big left tackle, hitting Eric Tavares, who was playing linebacker. And that pass is almost intercepted by the non-subscriber linebacker. Stats over the middle, caught wide open, number 10 for the first down pickup. It's a great post route. Both safeties, the star players of this team, were nowhere to be found on that play. Stats throws it out to Mitchell, breaking a tackle, getting loose inside the 20-yard line. He's having a heck of a game for himself. 
That was his first reception of the day for 13 yards. The stats gets loose, and he is in the end zone for the rushing touchdown. As the blue squad opens it up a little bit, it's now 21 to 7. Blue team over the yellow. Just a very quick decision from Stats to take off. And 82 almost gets in his way, but he still finds a way into the end zone. Yellow squad goes three and out. Blue squad back on the field on offense. And a great completion to Howard Bresnigal. Just beating number 10 on the inside. And Bully Cooper was late to get over there yet again. Stats over the middle, great catch. Smokey Callahan, eight yard reception. And they call a timeout. They're trying to get some more points on the board before the game is over. And there's a nice pass again. Howard Bresnigal, I think. No, that was number 15. I'm not sure who that is, non-subscriber player. But another great throw from Stats. This big offensive line is giving him a lot of time. They have a left tackle, a right tackle, and a center. And number 10 gets the ball, breaking a few tackles, hurtling into the end zone for the touchdown. Kind of a crazy play there for the wide receiver. And that is going to end the Northern Colorado spring game. Stats was 12 for 17 and a touchdown. And then 8 of 14 for 50 yards and a touchdown. So he had a really good day for both squads. Darius Mitchell has 5 carries for 33 yards and 1 touchdown. 1 reception for 13 yards. Eric Tavares has 46 yards on seven carries and one reception for three yards today. So this is going to be a two-back system. Eric Tavares is the athletic build player. Darius Mitchell is a raw talent. So he's got pretty good hands. He can also block for stats. And I just think the team will benefit more for having the dual-back system just to give defenses a different look. And I think with our offensive line, who actually played really well in this spring game, uh, I think the offensive line is going to help this team a lot in the run game and the pass game. But the Northern Colorado Bears do have a week one matchup. They will be traveling to take on the number five Colorado State Rams from the Mountain West Football Conference. And I am trying to get all these spring games out to you guys this week so we can start our dynasty games next Wednesday. I'm trying. I hope I can do that for you guys. But I will see you tomorrow with some more spring games. Take it easy, guys.